Good evening. This is the Reverend Dr. Betty J. Tom. I am the pastor of Old First Presbyterian Church in downtown Newark, New Jersey. And I'm coming to you tonight as a part of our beginning series of daily devotions that are dedicated to helping us to stay connected to each other and to God during these trying times of the coronavirus. And so I want to offer to you tonight as we begin this series, uh, Psalm 91, and so the words from the psalmist as he talks to us about the security of one who trusts in the Lord. Let me read a portion of Psalm 91 to you tonight. The psalmist says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I rely. For he will save you from the trap of the fowler and from deadly pestilence. We now know pestilence means viruses and diseases and plagues and calamities. He will cover you and completely protect you under his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and a wall you will not be afraid of the terror of night nor for the arrow that flies by day nor for the pestilence the disease the coronavirus that stalks in darkness nor the destruction that wastes at noonday a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but danger shall not come nigh you. And the psalmist lifts up um, these, this conditional promise based on verses one and two, that those of us who dwell in the shelter of the Almighty, we will remain secure and we can find rest uh, in the Almighty God in whom no enemy can withstand. And so if you're anxious today about all of the news that's coming out of um, the networks and the CDC around the coronavirus, let me encourage you tonight with the words of scripture that our God is a God who can deliver us from any deadly pestilence. And what we need to do is to rest in him and to rest in the security of our living savior. And so be encouraged tonight and join us every day for these moments of devotion uh, as we continue to stay connected to our Savior and to each other. God bless you.